a book which was banned by the fiercest advocates of free press, the British. A book which was published and secretly distributed by legendary people like Madame Kama, Lala Hardaya, Bhagat Singh, Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose and many more. A book which ignited the flame within hearts of countless revolutionaries in its contemporary era. A book which gave dignity to a national uprising by calling it the Indian War of Independence that was scuffed off as a mere Sepoy mutiny by the British. 1857 First Indian War of Independence and the author of this composition was a person who is and was one of the greatest sources of inspiration for thousands of revolutionaries. Vinayak Damodar Savarkar better known as Veer Savarkar. Explaining the purpose of composing this book, Savarkar says, In response to people who believe that armed revolution is not only impractical and impossible, but also a suicidal means of attaining independence, to them I say, it is the common Indian soldier serving the British who wields and controls the arms in the British Army. Though they are illiterate, they still bear the desire to gain independence. Ignite that flame and see what happens. The British will have to face loaded firearms wielded by Indian soldiers. The purpose of this book is to ignite that flame in the heart of India. 1857, First Indian War of Independence was drafted in Marathi after a meticulous study of various documents by Savarkar in circa 1907-108. However, the British banned this book which made it impossible to publish it in Maharashtra. Savarkar himself redrafted the book in English and published it. The British seized the original Marathi manuscript in 1908. It was again translated to Marathi. So influential was the book that its ban was lifted only after India's independence in 1947. Any person directly or remotely linked with this book had to face enormous hardships thanks to the British persecution. Veer Savarkar was sentenced deportation in Andaman, popularly known as Kala Pani. However, in spite of the risks involved, many people were deeply influenced and motivated by the book, and Savarkar volunteered to publish the book in many different languages, Indian and foreign. Such popular and influential was the book that it was translated into Tamil, Malayalam, Gujarati, Hindi, Telugu, Urdu, French and German languages. Savarkar chose an alias, Indian Nationalist, during its first publication in 1909. Nine complete editions along with one abridged edition were published in English and three complete and two abridged editions were published in Hindi. Mr. Patwardhan published two editions of Marathi translation. The final unabridged edition was published in 1949 after Savarkar regained the original Marathi manuscript. Other than this, 12 Gujarati, one Malayalam, two Tamil and one abridged Telugu edition have been published, thus making a total of 27 editions. The history of this book, its composition, publication, ban and seizure are all very interesting. British perceived this book as potential threat to the empire's stability. This is evident from the correspondence of government of Bombay with the Home Ministry. It mentions that Savarkar was writing a book on the Indian mutiny and strongly recommended immediate ban on the book. 
In accordance with this recommendation from Bombay Presidency, the government seized the Marathi manuscript and destroyed it secretly. Savarkar, however, had anticipated this move and managed to smuggle one manuscript to one of his associates, Mr. Coutinho of Goa. Mr. Coutinho secretly preserved this manuscript with him for 40 years before returning it to Savarkar after the Indian independence in May 1949. All the editions available today are based on this original manuscript. This book, just like Savarkar, became the source of inspiration for many. In years to come, people will continue to get inspired by this book. This will help secure a glorious position for India globally. A position she once enjoyed during the period she was referred to as the golden bird. Our effort is just one step towards achieving that goal.